The story I'm about to tell you took place when I was a little kid. I was probably about five years old at the time. I remember that when I was very little, my family went camping a few times. I don't remember a whole lot about most of the times because I was so young, but there was one time that I will definitely never forget. We went to this little campsite about three or four hours north of where we lived. It was an area with lakes and a lot of woods, typical camping environment. We got there early in the day and went on a walk in the woods. After that, we hung out on the campsite, made food, and then set up our tents. Our tents were fairly small, so we had two of them, one for my parents and one for my sister and I. It took us quite a while to set them up, and we had a little campfire before heading off to our tents for bed. We were the only people camping in that particular area, which I remember we were happy about because the previous time we had camped, it was a little crowded. I was in my sleeping bag in the tent and it was actually pretty comfortable. I wasn't really that tired though. I laid there listening to the sounds of nature. Then I heard footsteps coming over toward our tents. They seemed to go towards my parents' tent and then to my sister and me. I assumed that it was one of my parents. Then they began unzipping my tent. I looked, expecting to see my dad, but instead, it was just some random dude. I just remember he had a mustache and looked kind of old. He stared at me and my sister, who was fast asleep. Then, he motioned for me to come closer to him, but I didn't really want to. I had no idea who he was, but I assumed that he was another camper or something. Then. He asked me if I would go with him. I just said no. The man looked around for a couple of seconds and then just zipped our tent back up and walked away. Shortly after that, I was able to finally fall asleep. The next day, I forgot all about it and never even mentioned it to my parents. It wasn't until many years later when we went camping once again, I remembered it and realized just how strange and creepy it really was. About a year ago, my girlfriend and I went camping. Her parents had this little pop-out RV trailer that we could use. We went on a little road trip out west, stopping and camping at campgrounds and areas along the way. It was a fun time, and the first couple of days went really well. On the fourth day, I think it was, we drove a very long ways, and by the time we stopped, we were pretty tired. The only campground in the area was this little one off a dirt road that looked really run down. The farther we drove into it, the more sketchy it looked. The place honestly seemed to be abandoned, and we didn't see a single person there at all. We decided to keep going anyways, though, and we eventually parked and set up in one of the better looking areas in the site. We parked and set up the RV, and then we went inside of it at about 9 p.m. We got in the back and watched a movie on my laptop and relaxed before bed. But not even 30 minutes into the movie, we heard some rustling in the bushes surrounding our camper. I paused the movie, and we became silent to hear better. Then we saw a shadow outside that was walking. It was definitely a human and not an animal. We didn't know who or why anybody would be over here at this time. We saw the shadow of the person walking around us at about 10 feet away. Then it seemed to get closer and finally we heard the door rattle a little bit as if someone was trying to open it. When I heard this, I immediately got up and ran to the door and opened it, but when I did, nobody was there. It was just a quiet, dark night with nothing to be seen. I took a couple of steps outside and looked around, then I went back in. We finished watching the movie and then we were ready to go to sleep. My girlfriend stepped outside to go to the bathroom and I put my laptop away. But just a few seconds after my girlfriend went outside, I heard her scream. I went outside and saw her about 10 feet away, pointing at my truck. I looked over and saw crouched down behind my truck looking directly at me was a creepy old man. He looked very old and dirty. He had a long beard and was smiling with a very creepy look on his face. He had his arm around the back part of my truck. 
I yelled at him to get away. He just sat there and started laughing. It was one of the creepiest things I ever saw. I told him he needed to get away from my truck, but he just kept laughing. Then slowly he backed away into the woods, laughing hysterically the entire time. We packed up our things as quickly as we could and then drove to a nearby hotel for the rest of the night. About 10 years back, I went on a camping trip alone in the wilderness. I drove about five hours to an isolated area to camp for a week with nothing but just essentials. I consider myself an outdoorsman and I enjoy doing this type of thing. I got up there and was all set up in a little area. Then I went into the woods searching for some materials to build a little shelter. I walked for a while but then I noticed another man walking a distance away. It was unusual that I would ever see other people when I went camping like this, and I honestly didn't want to see other people. I walked a little bit farther, and then we made eye contact briefly. He looked at me and waved. Then we started to walk towards each other. We met and shook hands, and he asked me what I was doing over here. The man just seemed a little odd, but I couldn't figure out exactly why. He first told me that he was camping about a 20 minute walk south of there and then he asked me if I was planning on staying over here. I told him I was setting up a little ways up and he asked me if I would move. Then he asked me if I had seen anything else since I had gotten here. The guy was just coming off as strange to me so I decided I would sleep there that night and then move to a different location in the morning. I told him I should get going and we parted ways. I walked back to my spot and set up a little area for the night and then went to bed. I woke up early the next morning at dawn. I got up and began packing to leave and go to another location. As I was packing my things, I saw out of the corner of my eye a man walking about 30 feet away. It was the same man I had seen from yesterday. I asked him what he was doing over here. He told me he thought I was leaving and said he was just walking to get some wood for his fire. I finished packing my things and then left. I went to another site and camped for the next few days there and then went home. When I arrived home, I learned shortly after that a man wanted for murder had been found in those same woods I had started at. Sure enough, it was the man I had spoken to several times. That coincidence still really creeps me out to this day.